What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Igmatica 2 Expert. Oh, yeah, guys. So we are here down behind our storage area under the base. Uh, we're setting up some more storage drawers here. We're doing stuff in preparation for what's coming next. Mm -hmm. So we are going to be making uh, singularities, right? In order to make singularities, we are going to need to collect those resources. And pretty much the best way for us to collect resources at this point is from using the mystical agriculture crops, right? So did I miss? I must have missed. Yeah, there we go. Now, whoops. All of these should have uh, one void upgrade and then six of these storage upgrades in them all. Of these, so that's 28 of them, four times seven. Uh, we're going to need about this much in order to uh grab all of the singularities that we need for all these different ones so we need diamonds coming in gold glowstone redstone lapis i think we already have coal set up so that's one that we don't need and actually there's 27 not 28 that we need so we made a few extra drawers for expansion for later it's fine but yeah quite a lot of these we are going to need coming in so uh the next step is i need to grab a key we need this one that's going to lock and unlock the drawers. We want all of these locked. And I think we're just going to end up leaving these drawers right where I placed them. I was going to move them uh, one by one up against the existing drawers. <laughs> but honestly, I don't think that's really worth doing. Like, this isn't something that we need to look at. This is pretty much just for mass storage, right? Uh, it looks like all of those are locked. Yep. Yeah. All right, so what we're going to end up doing is making the seeds for each and every one of these different singularities that we need. In fact, I should probably go through and bookmark each one of these just to make it easier because uh, we need to make a seed for each one of these as well. And there we go. Now, again, I think I said we had coal. Yeah, we already have coal essence, so that's one we don't have to worry about. So I'll go ahead and remove that one. Now, as we come across other ones that we might have, I'm not sure if we have any other ones, but if we do, I will remove those as well. Flux crystal, quartz. Uh, do we already have quartz? Yeah, we already have quartz, unless that is certus, but I think that is regular nether quartz. Yeah, that is. Okay, so we can remove the nether quartz one. We don't need that one. Cobalt, we are gonna need certus quartz. Uh, we don't have that essence coming in, so that'll be nice getting that one. Yeah, and I'll just go through and make sure that we have all those. But anyway, uh, so each one of these is going to require seed. So iron seed. Yeah, so this is going to get us to actually make all of these different seeds that we need. Uh, so pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the seed. And when that's done, I'm going to remove the singularity from this list. And then we should end up with like 26 or 25 different seeds that we're going to have to plant in the end. That's the idea. I don't think any of these are, are too crazy. These are all just like pretty generic base resources. Now, the only thing is, though, this one, this Flux Crystal, um, I don't think there is a seed for those. This is something that's going to be a little bit more expensive. So we need diamonds plus a bucket of redstone to make two of those. Um, or if you do it through the Fluid Transposer, well, I guess it's the same. It'd be two diamonds plus two of those would be the same recipe as doing it this way. But yeah, so it's uh, five redstone and a diamond for each one of those. And this singularity requires 10,000 of them. Plus these crystal tine catalysts and all that kind of stuff. So this is going to be quite expensive going forward. But this is something that we need to do if we're going to be working towards making this infinity catalyst or making this dimension builder, right? Yeah, so these are one of the bigger things that we got to get knocked out of here. So I'm going to start working on making all these different seeds. We've seen that about 100 times now in this series. So I'll just go ahead and do those, and we will continue on, guys. All right, guys. So all the seeds have been made. They are now planted in the end. We have the greenhouse glass above them. It costs like 2,432 greenhouse glass. It was a lot. So we got that taken care of. I have made patterns for each one of the different essences that we made to be turned into the ingots. Uh, we're not actually using as many as I thought. Uh, we did have tin. We already had the uranium. We had coal being made already. And then a bunch of these, I kept the singularities here. These are ones that we don't have recipes for. Like you can't just make them out of seeds. 
Electrum is silver and gold, but we're collecting silver and gold already from Essence, and that has to be a machine process. Steel, we've been making directly from uh, mechanism, right? Invar, yep, that is a, just another recipe. Nickel and iron, I believe, right? Uh, Constantin, I think that's nickel and copper. Aluminum, signalum, and then flux crystals we saw, and then bronze, tin, and copper. So we have all of those, like the stuff coming in, but we have to craft these different materials as we're making them. So that's something to keep note of. But yeah, we have now recipes for lead, uranium, nickel, iodine, all et cetera, et cetera, all these different things. And uh, these are all hooked up now back behind here. So all the essences are being captured uh, into all these basic drawers. I should probably put a torch up here. Don't want mobs spawning. Uh, I think the only thing that could spawn there would be a spider. But anyway, we'll light it up regardless. So yeah, all the essences we have coming in are coming in onto these drawers here. So we have a large storage, which is great. The other thing I want to do is just grab our concealment key. And I'll just hit the controller with that a couple of times. Uh, I think you... No, you just do it from the back. That got everything. Okay, I wasn't sure if I had to do it from the front of the block or from the back. It looks like the back works just fine okay so everything is now concealed no more things being shown all of the essences are being stored yeah i think we're doing pretty good at this point as far as collecting the resources now we're gonna have to worry about doing things with the resources hmm that's gonna be fun so in order to make something like a coal singularity let's start with this one we need a quantum compressor and we're gonna need a crystal tine catalyst in there while we're pumping in blocks of coal, 10,000 of them to be exact. So a quantum compressor consists of two auto compressors, uh, four regular compressors, two blocks of black iron, an elite compressing factory. Can you craft those? No. It doesn't look like there is a recipe to craft that. So we'll have to like place a block in the world and upgrade it, I guess. And then we need a whole lot of pistons. Yeah. So how many of these did we say that we needed in total? I don't remember now. So that's 28. So 27 minus this one. So we need 27 of these quantum compressors. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> so that is what? 5, 10, 16 times 27 pistons. That's a lot of pistons. I'm not exactly sure what that is. I'm gonna have to like bust out the calculator to figure that one out. But yeah, that's a lot of stuff that we're gonna need in here. So the auto compressor is crafting tables, iron blocks or iron block and then iron ingots. So I guess we can start crafting up some of these things here. So, or I guess making recipes for them. So like a auto compressor, we will do this. That seems like the appropriate recipe that I want to use. And then if we want to make compressors, do we have that on AutoCraft already? We do not. Okay, so back to here and then a compressor. Okay, uh, these are actually cheaper to make than the basic control circuits, but we don't have a lot of those. But we'll just go ahead and swap back to the basic control circuit since we have that on AutoCraft already. And it doesn't take super long to craft those. So we'll do it that way. Okay, and then we need the compressing factory. That's going to be real fun. Um, yeah, and those are all just compressors, block of black iron, and then pistons. Yeah, so we're going to need a whole load of pistons. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and start crafting up all these materials here, see if I can get enough so we can do 27 of these recipes, and we'll be right back, guys. Who? what a fun bunch of crafting we're doing right now. So we got most of this stuff in here. We have the uh, the mini stacks, the 16 stacks, the 27 pistons. Uh, we have the compressors, the auto compressors, and the blocks of black iron. Uh, I just got done making the osmium compressors. We had one already in the system. And then we had 26 more, and these do not stack, unfortunately. So we need to put all these back into my inventory here. Well, not enough room for those. And I also want to turn on auto refill. I had that turned off before when I was doing the draconic crafting a little while ago. So yeah, we'll place all these guys down. Oh boy. We gotta break them all and pick them back up here in a little bit. All right. And then we need 
two more of these things. That should be 27 of these guys. Okay. So now we're going to need the uh, tier installer. Here is the... Well, I guess those only stacked to 16. I didn't know that. Okay. Well, there is 16 of the... Uh, this... Of the basic tier. So we're turning the osmium compressors into the basic compressing factories, right? So then we're going to have to upgrade these to the advanced compressing and then eventually the elite compressing factory. We're still working on the elite tier installer. Oop, I need to grab the other stack of the advanced ones. There we go. Okay, so all these guys are now being upgraded to the advanced installer. Yeah, I think in normal mod packs with mechanism, you can just craft that automatically. In this pack, it forces you to use the installers. I'm pretty sure you can upgrade those in a crafting recipe in most mod packs, like the default configuration. Anyway, so we're almost done here. Just a few more of these to go. And two more. Awesome. All right, so that's all of these guys. Can we vein mine them? Oh, boy. Okay, and they don't stack in my inventory, so we gotta be kinda quick here. So we need to put that here, and there's a quantum compressor, and then I'll just go ahead and do this. These guys stack, though, so that's awesome. I can shift-click these in here, so that'll be nice. All right, so this is going a little bit easier. Why do I have osmoridium in my inventory? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Must have clicked it out by mistake when I was in Applied Energistics. All right, so it looks like we should have everything, unless I'm missing one of these somewhere. Uh, 25, 26, and the last one, 27 quantum compressors. So that's pretty awesome. It doesn't look like they, that there is any kind of a reward for doing one of those. And then we need the crystal teen catalyst. We're going to need 27 of those. Crystal teen, crystal tine, however you pronounce it, I don't know. So can we do 27 of those? Ooh, we are missing boron. And we are missing crystal tine ingots. Okay, so how are we doing on boron? We have 253. That's not bad. Uh, I've been, yeah, I've been putting that through our induction smelter over here. We don't have any recipes. Actually, do I have an interface on the back? Induction. I do. Awesome. All right, so let's make a recipe for that. So if I go uh, boron ingots, I'm tired of doing this manually. So if we do that and then we go to the induction smelter, we want this recipe. Okay. We'll put all that stuff back in there and we'll put that into the induction smelter. Cool. So now we don't have to worry about making boron anymore. It should just make it for us when we want that. And then the other thing was a crystal teen. Uh, let me just try making 27 of those and verify that it looks like boron. Yeah, it knows what to do now. So now we got to make the crystal teen ingots. And how many? Like almost 200 of those. So that was made in the elite crafting table. That's the diamond looking one with some diamonds, lapis, nether star nuggets, iron, gold. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and craft up a whole bunch of these. Maybe I'll craft up like 64, I guess. Might as well do that. Uh, no, I mean, obviously we have to do that more than 64. Uh, we're going to have to do like three, four stacks. I might do four stacks of this stuff just so we have a little bit extra. Anyway, let me go ahead and do that real quick. We'll get these things hooked up and then we'll look at making those singularities. All right, guys. So we have the quantum compressors down and I'm just installing the last of the crystal time catalyst in here. If you shift click it in there, it goes into this and you start making some kind of a... Uh, I guess it wants to make a singularity out of them. You can press the eject button to get that back, though. So we'll place that there. So these do require power. So that is a thing that we're going to have to worry about. Let me place torches here. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is where I want to keep these. I was almost thinking we could do um, uh, one of the compact machines. We haven't even touched the compact machines at all in this playthrough. And that is a thing. Uh, like I was talking about before, I am kind of worried about putting more and more stuff in this base for lag reasons like we are struggling right now to keep up like a 60 fps and even though it says that we get 60 it doesn't feel like it's a smooth 60 like the game isn't actually giving us what it says that it is if that makes any sense it's one of those weird things um so we will place that back here 
Oh, you know what? I need one more piece of stone, I guess, for that block. Yeah, what I was going to end up doing is just using some of the flux ducts that we have. Uh, we only have 19. Actually, we need to craft up like 10 more of those. So I'll just tell it to do that. I don't think these are that slow to craft up. Yeah, we just got to make some hardened glass, which is okay. And then some other things. You know, I feel like I just got done using the... Um, Induction smelter. I feel like that might be blocked up with something. I'm not sure what's going on here. Like, it's crafting stuff and then putting it back into the interface, and that's not right. So, yeah, obviously, <laughs> something is not working correctly here. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Yeah, things are acting really, really weird. So, there is something that it did wrong. Uh, I guess I was trying to make Electrum... We need some more hardened glass. I'll put that into the system. Uh, let's cancel this. So if we go back to these, and if I say make 10 more of those. Okay, well now it's crafting up. Yeah, something's weird with this thing. It keeps like leaving items in the induction smelter. I'm not entirely sure why it's doing that. I don't feel like it should be doing that, but it, obviously it is. So what was it trying to make? It was trying to make some Electrum here. Uh, it says it's storing silver, so I guess if we come in here and we take this out, we should see silver go in, but not the correct amount for some reason. I don't know. It's crafted that. It's crafting these. Mm. Yeah, I think there might be something wrong with our <laughs> recipe for Electrum. I'll have to worry about that later. Let's move on. Okay, so we can place our cryo stabilized flux ducts under here because these things do require power. Yep, you can see there's a power bar on them. So I'll place all these guys down under here and then we can just place one flux point somewhere. All right, flux point. Just use one of these, it doesn't really matter where and it doesn't really matter where in this chain we place it since these transfer unlimited power. Okay, so now everything should be all powered up. We're all happy, very good. Uh, the next step is we need to start producing singularities. So the way we're gonna do that is by using applied energistics and the export buses. So we're gonna need 27 export buses. <laughs> all right, let's see, can we do that? 27. Okay, so 27 of those is going to use quite a lot of channels here, 27 to be exact, obviously. Uh, so we're going to have to kind of break this up a little bit so it can accept the correct amount of channels. Now, 32 channels is the most that you can get out of a P2P, and we're probably going to have to use a full P2P just for this process right here. That is a lot of channels. And then if we're going to import the items, yeah, we also need a spot to do that. So if we do... Uh, import buses, that's another 27 channels. I don't, I'm not really sure that we need to do import buses though, but we can, like we have plenty of channels over here, right? <laughs> Available to be used. So, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do that. Import bus. We'll do 27 of these. Because normally what I would do is use like some kind of a conduit or something and have that pipe into an interface. But you know what? Let's splurge a little bit. We have plenty of applied energistics going on here. So I think we'll be just fine. Now, since we're doing this, we have to break it up into blocks of four machines because four import and four export buses is going to be eight channels, uh, which is the maximum that we can transfer through one of these things um, through like a normal ME conduit, ME glass cable. Let's grab these, okay. So we'll do four of these, four of those, and then somehow we need to connect those together, like so. And then we're gonna have to do something to separate these. So we'll do cable anchors, so the conduit or the cables don't connect. I'm not sure if we need that one, probably don't. So again, we'll do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and connect those, like so. Okay, so now we got sets of eight channels. Yeah, we didn't need that one cable anchor. I will remove that one later. Like so. And we just repeat this pattern all the way down. And then we'll have to find a way to connect all this into like a dense cable or something like that. 
We should be fine. Actually, I think we're going to have to use two dense cables for the amount of channels that we have here. But anyway, let me finish this up real quick and we'll continue on. All right, guys. So we have 32 channels going to go into this P2P. And then we have, oh, not quite as many going into that P2P over here. Uh, we still got to hook these things up. So we need a memory card. Yep. And then we'll grab channels from over here. Let's grab these two. So this one, I will do this. Okay. And then the next one closest to us, we'll do the other one. Grab that one. Do the shift right click. And then just the right click to paste the channel. So this one should light all the way up. We should have 32 here. I'm pretty sure. And then this one's going to light up about three quarters of the way. Um, but yeah, it does take a second sometimes for applied energistics to recognize, Hey, you've done something and to, uh, light up the channels over here. Uh, another thing that we do have to worry about though, um, this P to P yeah, we're now using eight channels on this cable over here. So we're going to have to worry about how we're going to connect any more P to P's down this line. Yeah. Uh, we really need to replace this cabling here with a dense cable. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do that and then take like, um, the regular ME glass cable off that and attach the P2Ps to it. Yeah. If we want to attach any more, any, anything else down the line that is. So yeah, we are completely full here. 32 channels. We got 22 channels on this side. Everything is connected. Now, the next step is we need to start dumping items into these things. Now, here's another question. We're going to need singularities, but how many of each one do we need? I don't know. And then also some of these machines are going to require like bronze, which is going to have to be crafted. Um, are we going to, it almost feels like we need a dedicated machine for each one of those things that are going to be crafting like the uh, flux crystals. We have a thing over here where we can put in uh, destabilize redstone so we can dump diamonds into here to make the flux crystals. But if we need this for anything else, then it's going to already be backed up by what we're doing. So I don't know. Um, it's going to be one of those things we'll have to play around with and see how things go. But, uh, to start with, let's start simple. We'll do coal. So we'll need coal for the export setting. We're going to need, uh, crafting cards for everything. I'm pretty sure. We'll do 27 of those. So the export buses can be like, Hey, if there's none of the system, just go ahead and craft them. And then acceleration cards. Yeah. We're going to want those. Let's just do like two of them per we'll do 54. That should be enough to get us by for now. And if we need that third one, we can add it later. So we'll add in one crafting card, two of these, and then we'll add in this. So that should start dumping coal into here. Um, is it going to be fast enough to do this? I don't know. We might have to revamp this and do it in another way. I'm not entirely sure what the best way of doing this is, but yeah, in order to make a singularity, we do need 10,000 items. Now it is going kind of slow right now and it will speed up. So we applied energistics works. Once you start up an export bus that goes slow slow and then it builds up speed as the item can accept more and more. So this should go at a more reasonable speed going forward. Uh, well, let's move on to the next one. So the next one is iron iron. We can throw that into this one, do that crafting card two acceleration cards. Is this one going much faster now? Not really, but I know it will go faster over time unless there's something weird about these quantum compressors. But either way, like we've already put a thousand items into there. It's just got to do that 10 times in order to get a singularity. I'm not sure how fast we need these singularities right now, just as long as we have them coming in. Yeah. Now it's going more reasonable speed here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So iron is also being done. Yep. Okay. Next one would be what lapis. Okay. Well, it's going to be a lot of the repeating me doing the same thing over and over again. Let me just go ahead and start hooking these all up. All right, guys. So all of these things are hooked up now. If we look at our uh, applied energistics now for our singularity, you can see that we have collected quite a few of these. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, but yeah, we are starting to run into a problem here. Iron singularity, we have six of those. 
If we look at iron ingot, we have none. Iron. Uh, I guess it's called block of iron. We don't have any of those. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna have to turn the iron one off and let stuff collect again. Now I wonder if it's worth setting up like the um, astral sorcery ritual in the end. Do those even go cross dimension? I am not entirely sure they do. Um, but yeah, like the iron one, uh, we're gonna have to figure out how to get more iron more quickly because right now as it is, like aside from the pulverized iron and this iron ore that we have, we're just waiting on iron to come in from the end from our iron essence. <laughs> oh boy. Um, so yeah, the, that's going to happen with all of our stuff. All of these different singularities, like we're pretty much probably going to be out of glowstone. Uh, gold is probably looking pretty light about now. I mean, we're pretty okay actually for a while. We can make a few more singularities out of that, but are we going to need that many? That's the, the real question. The other thing I'm also I'm curious about is how much power is all of this using? I haven't looked yet. We are using millions of our F right here. So how are we doing here? Yeah, we are draining our power quite quickly, producing all of these different singularities. Oh boy. Um, yeah, so I was kind of thinking that we'd just let these things run and create stuff, but I'm not sure that's a thing that we can do. Now, here's another thing I noticed about these machines. You can see that we're up above 10,000. It costs 10,000 per that uh, singularity. So what it does is it starts crafting when you get 10,000 in there. Yep. And it takes a while to craft, about 30 seconds. And whatever the remaining is, like that'll be your starting point for the next singularity. So I think when I saw it happen with iron, we had about 6,000 iron in there uh, when it started making the next one. So it's probably going to do the same thing with this lead one. Uh, another thing, <laughs> if we look at our applied energistics, the crafting stuff here, like everything's just kind of like flashing around and doing stuff. It's actually less chaotic than it was before, probably because we just are out of essence for everything at this point. Yeah. Uh, so, hmm, I'm probably going to turn off some of these, like the iron one. Yeah, I think we're going to turn this off. We're going to turn that off. Uh, I can get the iron back by clicking eject and I can get the thousands of ingots back, but it's going to, going to kind of suck for me to do that. But yeah, I think certain ones of these where we already got a few of the, uh, singularities, I think it'll just be fine for us to do this. And then we'll wait for later until we can figure out a better way of collecting massive amounts of resources. Maybe like after we get our dimension builder and we can make ourselves an iron block world or something along those lines. Yeah. I think that's probably what we're going to want to do. But anyway, uh, I got some fun ahead of me trying to get <laughs> a lot of this stuff back. Um, gonna keep track so we don't completely run out of resources and make sure we don't run out of power. That's another thing we're gonna have to worry about. But anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.